Editor collection just got better. This update features tool redesigns, new features, bug fixes, and performance improvements. Starting off with Whip Animate, all of the controls have a new swap button, letting you easily switch the values around. Next, anytime you want to unlink one of the animations, the new Anim Engine will copy all of the values from the global Anim Engine so you have a starting point right away. The position animation now has two control modes, point and distance. Distance is great when you need quick, adaptable animations, while point is used when you need precision. All of the standard and middle animations have been optimized to work better together, giving you a perfect result. Speaking of middle animations, there is now a set start and set end button, which will automatically figure out the offset values based on the playhead. This is perfect when you want to add a normal looking animation to the middle of a clip. When using loops, there is also a standard loop in addition to the ping pong option that it had before. New to this version is a built-in mask. The standard rectangle node is going to let you add in a rectangle, square, or circle without having to go to the fusion page. You also get to choose whether or not to apply it before the animation so it follows with the image or after the animation so it remains static. But if you don't want it to remain static, you have the ability to animate its size and position using the Anim Engine. When you want the mask to stand out, add in a border and customize its color. There is also a custom mask option that can be connected inside of the Fusion page. When using this mode, you still have the option to animate it, add a border, and apply it post or pre-animate. Last but certainly not least is the best improvement to Whip Animate, Faster Motion Blur. It now has a low quality motion blur option that works for size, position, and angle animations. When this is on, Whip Animate is going to render significantly faster, if not in real time. Then if you need something higher quality, you can still use the normal motion blur. Next up, Whip Background. I redesigned all of the overlay controls resulting in more features and a much better user experience. For the grid option, there is now a new custom shape, which lets you drag an image from the media pool or select a file using a loader. This is great when you want to use something like a logo to generate your background. You can also change the angle of the grid, which is going to keep all of the icons level, or change the angle of the icons on their own. Plus, Plus, there is this new staggered option, adding even more shapes. There is also a new movement option, allowing you to animate the shapes in a specified direction, and you even have the option to add some 3D rotation and depth of field in addition to the displace and glow found in previous versions. New in this update is the particle overlay mode. This is going to add in a bunch of particles using a selected shape or a custom image using those same controls found in the custom grid shape. The UI lets you specify how many particles, their size, rotation, movement, color, and even add in a drop shadow. Keep in mind, the more particles you add, the more time it's going to take for your computer to render. Finally, there is a new stop motion effect built in a whip background. Whip Grid was also redesigned. It has all of the same layouts as before, but now it's easier to use and runs faster. Whip Blur has three new blur modes, zoom, directional, and radio. I've also fixed a bug with the lens blur option, so it doesn't brighten the image when it's turned on. The mask system has also been redesigned for better compatibility with the standard blur modes. If you're using a mask with transparency like a soft edge, I still recommend using the very blur mode for the best results. Whip Frame has been redesigned with a new UI and strength slider. When the foreground and background animations are turned on, you can unlink them so the background moves at a different speed than the foreground. This subtle change gives it a beautiful parallax effect. Whip Subscribe has also been updated with Anim Engine V2 at its core, faster performance, and a clean UI. If you've already purchased Editor Collection, this update is available for free on my website under the downloads page. If you have any questions, please let me know.